Whoa! That's a good fight. What is it? Is it another Garibaldi? Nope, it's not Garibaldi. Wait, it's a sand bass. That's a good sized one. That's a really good sized one. Let's freaking go. Nice. Go away, Mr. Beach chickens. You can't have this fish. Shoo, leave me alone. Let's give him a measure as well. Looks like he's exactly 14. Let's freaking go. What's up anglers and anglets, it's your boy Sven and welcome back to my channel. So for today, we're back down in Oceanside and we're gonna do some jetty fishing. Don't have much time, got maybe like three hours before the sun sets, so let's just get right into it. It's pretty low tide right now, so we're gonna get some mussels and give that a shot. See ya in a bit. But before we get started, let's talk a little bit about safety. Always have appropriate footwear. Anything with a lot of traction is good. Pay attention to the ocean, especially at this spot, because a lot of big waves make their way through here. It's pretty low tide right now, so it's relatively safe, but you never know. That's kind of like a small big wave right there, but that's pretty big, especially for low tide. All right, let's get started. I got my usual high-low rig with two size six hooks, and I have double muscles all threaded up. Here's first cast, not too far. Mussels are also a super great bait for bait and weights. When I used to go fishing with my dad when I was younger, this was what we strictly used. It was just mussel. Only problem with mussels is that they're usually super flimsy. They get nibbled away more often than anything, but they also attract a lot of fish already. It's only been in the water for like 30 seconds. Kind of small, but that's the beauty of the high-low rig. There's two pieces of bait. Nope, just took the bottom bait. Even with the thread, there's still a chance that they'll nibble it away, but the fish are here. That's a pretty good sign. First minute, already a nibble. Let's rebait. Oh yeah, that's a really big splash. Oh, that's a strong one. There we go. First fish. Let's see what you are. Nice, it looks like a butter perch. First fish of the day and first fish back since Texas. Such a pretty fish. All right, let's let you on back. Thanks for playing, Mr. Butter Perch. Boop. No, the beach chicken. Okay, cool, it looks like the fish got away. I think the beach chicken tackled each other and he got away. Darn beach chickens. Don't know what I was expecting. I'm back in California now. The flying pirates with wings right there. Just because I'm duping around, I figured what if I added the weight above the bottom hook? It's still a high-low rig, but technically it's more of a low-low rig. Let's give it a shot. Bottom hook is just free flowing around. Maybe that'll entice something. And I feel like a lot of the bites are usually gonna be at the bottom anyways. Let's try over here. Still casting pretty close. I think I got a nibble already as it was falling. Yep, yep. Nice, doesn't feel big though. Another butter perch, this one's way smaller. Best guess, this guy is probably like five inches. Thanks for playing, dinky boy. Oh yeah, I gotta watch out for the beach chickens. Another one tried to swoop that. I think he's still looking. Bait's still good too, I'm gonna cast it back out. Yeah, more often than not, they bite the bottom hook. And I think I got a nibble. Must be really small. Still nibbling. Bait's probably all destroyed by now.
Been gone? Yeah. What the heck is that? Nice, look at this guy. I've never caught anything like this before. Look at this guy. He's so slimy, sticky, and very soft. Thanks for playing, mystery fish. Let me show you guys how I rig up my muscles for bait. They got two sides. They got this very curvy side over here, and they got the flat side right here. Your point of entry is gonna be the flat side. Take your knife and stick it right in between the opening. Just wiggle in a bit. You're gonna have to cut through the muscle that's holding the muscle together. Go down and then just slice right through it. And then the muscle should open right up. Each muscle will have two pieces of bait. To take it out of the shell, you just slice through the muscle down there. Slowly and carefully make your way through until it is all out. And there you go. One piece of muscle for bait. When you're hooking up your muscle, bring it through all the meaty parts first, and then hook on the sturdy piece last, like this piece of lip. And there you go. You can fish with it just like this, but we're gonna add some thread to give it some sturdiness. I'm using red because I felt like it, but you can use any color you want. Wrap the thread a couple times up over here at the base of the hook. That's gonna be your anchoring point for the thread. And then slowly just wrap your bait. You don't wanna wrap it too hard. You just wanna have a little extra securing. And you just kind of keep going through that until you have about like two inches left. And then you make your way back to the top and just keep wrapping around the base of the hook. A little bit more secure than if it didn't have the thread. You can hook the muscle on however you want. This is just the way I do it. There's no wrong way to do it. But I do highly recommend using the thread as the final touch. Wave's getting a little extra spicy right now. This spot's pretty safe, but if the tide's going up, eventually this spot's gonna get splashed too. It's kind of dinky. That's not dinky. That's a pretty good sized one. Another butter perch. Pretty decent. Yeah, look, he went for the bottom hook. Just gonna measure him for fun. Looks about eight inches. A nice, decent butter perch. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Fishing's pretty good right now. That last one I caught in maybe a minute. Same spot. I was actually curious how the fishing would have been today anyways. For the past couple days, we've been having a heat wave. It's been like super blistering hot. Today is still pretty hot too, but not as bad as like the last couple days. So I guess the fishing right after a heat wave is pretty darn good. With fresh mussels though, if there are fish around, the bite is usually pretty instant. There we go. Another nibble, another nibble. Okay, I think we got it. Probably also a little small. Yep. Hey, this one went for the top hook, but it's another butter perch, maybe four inches. I guess these guys really like mussels. They like shrimp too. This guy's too small, gotta let him go. Thanks for playing, dinky boy. Let's move spots a bit anyways. Fish like to school around, so maybe we can find a slightly bigger school. This spot is a little bit closer to where all the big waves are crashing, so I'm just gonna stay up here, cast from a safe distance. Remember, you always wanna be safe when you're fishing. Yeah, it looks like we're pretty good over here. Let's give it a shot. Feeling pretty good about this spot, actually. Nibble. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh no, it's a Garibaldi. The Forbidden Magic Carp. I also think he went for both hooks. Yeah, he went for both hooks. I see two wires going out of his mouth. Man, he must have been hungry. All right, let's get you off and get you back as soon as possible. These guys give a really good fight. All right, thanks for playing, Mr. Garibaldi. We can't keep the Garibaldi over here in California because that is the state marine fish. So it's super protected. What are you doing, Mr. Beast Chicken? Very cool fish though, super bright orange. When you're fishing out here in California, Garibaldis are generally gonna be a bycatch because they'll tackle your bait while you're targeting other fish. Quick side note though, in terms of regulations, even if you're catching or releasing, if you're targeting Garibaldi specifically, you could still get in trouble. So just be mindful of that. Of course, we're not targeting for Garibaldi. I didn't even expect to catch one. They sure do put up a really good fight though, especially for their size. Granted, that last one was pretty massive. It's a fun catch and release by catch. Whoa, that's a good fight. What is it? Is it another Garibaldi? Nope, it's not Garibaldi. Wait, it's a sand bass. That's a good sized one. I think it's a barred sand bass. That's a really good sized one. Let's freaking go. Nice. I did not expect him to go for the mussel. Go away, Mr. Beach Chickens. You can't have this fish. Shoo. 
Leave me alone. Let's give him a measure as well. At the 14 inch mark, that's the legal size. Looks like he's exactly 14. Let's freaking go. What a freaking beautiful fish though. He is legal, but I'm not gonna keep him. Oh crap. Well, there comes the waves. Look at the color of his eyes though. He's got that nice little orange underneath it. Freaking beautiful fish. I'm gonna put you back over here. It's a little bit more calm than the other side. Whoa, slippery. All right, this is a good spot. Thanks for playing, Mr. Chonky Seabass. What a nice catch, holy crap. It's not often you catch illegal sea bass from the shore. Most of the time I've caught them were like 10 inches, eight inches, give or take. Man, the fishing is so good after a heat wave. Still gotta be a little careful because these waves are super crazy as well. Because it's been so hot in the past couple days, I think the warm water is drawing in all the big fish. I was just going for surf perch, man. I did not expect the legal sea bass. Good old Oceanside. It's good to be fishing back in California. The sun's almost setting too. Maybe got like 30 minutes left. Oh. I am completely soaked. I'm gonna get up right now before another one comes. Holy crap. Oh, they're totally... Done fishing. That's so cold. Let me just get all my stuff that fell down. Here's the measuring tape. I'm at a safer spot. I don't know if you guys can even hear me. The microphone is soaked, but I can't fish past the sun going down. It's gonna get way too cold. The water is supposed to be warm, but that was super cold. I'm gonna put the mussels back. Any leftover bait that you've gathered, if you're not gonna use it, just toss them back. No need to forget these guys in the freezer. Let's just get out of here. That was a good, nice last catch though. I'm gonna make my way back to the car now. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.